I want you to give a big, big, loud round of applause to our next act. He can be heard on the recent, most recent episode of our own Two Dope Queens, the uh, fabulous podcast from WNYC Studios. He's a native of Yonkers. You can follow him on all the media's social. He is Nori Davis! <laughs> All right, let's talk about Tupac. Um, all right, first joke, not good, cool. It's <laughs> gonna be a good one, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm from uh, Yonkers, New York, like he said, so if anybody wants to give me a ride, I appreciate it. <laughs> it's so far. Yonkers is like an hour and 15 minutes outside the city. And uh, one time I was in Brooklyn, I took an Uber from Brooklyn to Yonkers. It was so far, the Uber driver was like, yeah, man, you out here. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I got a credit card, you gonna get paid. He's like, yeah, but I gotta go back. <laughs> I've never been to Uber ride where the driver was rethinking his life choices. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta give him some motivation. I'm like, look, man, we gonna get there together. <laughs> he was just like mumbling under his breath, like, nah, man, I should have listened to my mother. <laughs> I'm a dentist, I don't need this side also. <laughs> so he went back to cleaning teeth. <laughs> Full time. I used to always get a ride to the subway, but I recently discovered this new train called Metro North. You ever heard of this train? <laughs> All right, so people don't know Metro North. It's basically like the subway, but there's no dicks. <laughs> there's no dicks, there's no panhandling. It's clean, and it's $11. And the subway's two seventy-five. dollars So for $8.25, you're treated like a fucking human being. <laughs> you are a person. Cause we all know the ground in New York, man. Everybody knows across the world. You're on the subway and somebody's always gonna ask you like, hey man, you have any money? And I always wanna tell them like, look, we're broke too. <laughs> That's why we on here. <laughs> now what you need to do is go to Metro North. <laughs> they have money. They paid $11. Why are you asking me? I think they don't know about it. I wish I was an agent, man. I would get all the subway acts and put them on that Metro North line to Connecticut. Those white women be like, oh my God, do you take freedom chairs? <laughs> yes, man, we take the square. <laughs> Thank you. $8.25, huge. Not even that big of a difference, but a huge difference in service. Like on um, the Metro North, they have this HR person called a conductor. <laughs> oh, lovely soul. You know, they ask you, uh, you know, they always tell you where you're going. They're like, all right, we're making stops to Riverdale and Harlem. And voice so soft, sound like a yoga instructor. <laughs> And while we pass Yonkers, make sure your chakras are aligned and you're breathing. Are you breathing? <sighs> yeah, I'm breathing. And then we're on the subway. They scream at us like they are our father. Don't hold the door! <laughs> Who's holding the door? And I get so much anxiety. I'm looking at the intercom like, I don't know. I don't know what's on the door. I'll turn this train around. I don't give a fuck. No, no, I wanna go downtown, not uptown, please. Are you holding the door? You with your dick out, are you holding the door? Can we communicate? I just wanna go home. $8.25. Beautiful. Metro North is, is better for women, I'm telling you, man. 
you can drink liquor on there. You know that? The women, they drink wine, they drink the wine. Like, <laughs> I never seen a dick. <laughs> 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 Conductor pours more Merlot. Oh. <laughs> Every woman I talked to in the city, man, and my homegirls, they was like, yeah, I just got off, just saw some guy jerking off. I feel so bad for him, because like, she didn't, she didn't pay 275 for that. <laughs> it's like every time a woman buys a Metro car, there's an asterisk, like, oh, you might see a dick. <laughs> and she's like, no, I don't want to. Like, oh, no, it was complimentary. <laughs> it's on us. Enjoy your sexual harassment, bye. <laughs> Like, I just want wine. <laughs> I don't want dick, I want wine. <laughs> you know, guys, like I'm I'm woke, but I try not to be too woke. It's exhausting. I can't be a conscious black man for the rest of my life. Because when you're so woke, it's like I want to go to sleep. But you can't sleep, because it's like, nah, they want me to sleep. I gotta stay woke. Why they put chapstick in, I know why they putting salt and chapstick, I know what they do. <sighs> like I'm woke on toxic masculinity, right? Like I try to help my boys with that, man. You know, like, like I'm, a, I'm so masculinity, I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? Just, I tell them like, look, you have to cry. Like, fellas, if you don't cry, you gonna kill somebody. <laughs> Just have a trigger. <coughs> have a trigger. Watch anything that Pixar makes. <laughs> Watch Sterling Brown's eyes, you know. He has those, oh, nigga, you made me cry. <laughs> now I'm gonna make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sterling. Too late. Or I just go on YouTube and I just watch Kendall Jenner hand, hand Pepsi, Pepsi to a protest cop. Oh, makes me cry every time. <laughs> oh my God. She's soft, right? That's all. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I got one of those boys, man. Just like, I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? Like one time, it, it was his birthday last week. Got him a cake with candles. Handed it to him, like happy birthday. But he's such a man. He was like, why you give me this cake? I don't care about this shit, I don't need no cake. But I saw the twinkle in his eye. The twinkle in his eye was like, thank you so much. <laughs> Y'all love me. How do you print my face on the cake? <laughs> you got that from my mother? <laughs> it's like, just cry. Oh, I don't get it. I think, Cause I, I learned, you know, my transgender brother, and he always bought me the LGBT parties with him, which was cool, definitely experienced. I always wondered, like, why the heterosexual men don't really have any gay friends? And when I went to that party, went to an LGBT party, I was in there, I was like, oh, this is why straight guys don't like gay people. This party's too lit. <laughs> it's too lit. Like, gay people party, when gay people party, they party like they just got liberated yesterday. <laughs> Like, what are we celebrating? Everything. <laughs> the color is blue. <laughs> they partying, having a good time, kissing, having sex, and at night they don't get pregnant. What? <laughs> Straight guys don't like that. There's no plan B. This is bullshit. They're not equal. It's jealousy. Get over it. It's fine. I think I'm the only head of such a black man that got gay friends, man. Gay guys are dope, man. Like they, I'll tell you this, they have a better time on Instagram, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so my boys, they's on Instagram, they went pumpkin picking. I wanna go. <laughs> I can't tell my straight niggas to go pumpkin picking. <laughs> They're not gonna go. Yo, let's go pumpkin picking. There's gonna be any pussy there. Why does that have to be the objective? <laughs> let's just go. We look at some orange shades, we take some selfies, get our likes up, that's it! <laughs> ain't no pussy, I ain't going, no, oh, that's your only premise? <laughs> that's toxic masculine's premise, get drunk, get pussy. Get drunk, get pussy. <sighs> you know, one time my boy was like, yo man, let's go to an Usher concert. I'm like, why? We don't like Usher. <laughs> He's like, damn, there's gonna be mad girls there. Yeah, but they're there for Usher. <laughs> 
Not us. What type of logic is that? Hey, girl, you can't get him, but look at me. Mm. <laughs> look at my non-dancing ass, what's up? <laughs> I just wanna go pumpkin picking. <laughs> I think that's it. I think I'm done. I, I didn't time myself. So. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, wait, wait, okay, there you go. That is Corey <laughs> Davis, right. yes! Thank you.